Hello, welcome in this video where I will explain you what you are able to do with the barcode app. Before starting this section, make sure that your warehouse is well prepared, that you have created your barcode, that they are sticked at a practical way inside your warehouse, and that all the your data, your barcode data, are inserted in your Odoo database. As soon as you have that, you are ready to start this uh, section. To make it very practical, I have taken in my hands one uh, mobile computer scanner that works with Wi-Fi. And thanks to that, you will see that in live how it works. To help me in my demo, I have here the demo data sheet that will help me to have the different barcodes I need to, uh, to do the demo. So here on the right, you have the screen of uh, my barcode scanner. So I go here on the, the app. And the first thing you see, it's the blue banner that you can remove that just explain you that you are able to print some uh, demo data sheet uh, to help you uh, in your first pass with the app. Uh, when they speak about comments, in fact, it's the different actions you can scan, uh, like the validate button, the scrap, the, the protein pack, the right or left page, and so on. I will remove it and like this, I spare some space. From the home page, you have a lot of interesting information, so it's really important to read that you are able to do four actions uh, directly from here. So you can first scan uh, an operation. So on your operation, you have the possibility to add a barcode. And if you scan this barcode, you will create from scratch, scratch this operation. So I will do it here for the receipt. I scan my receipt. I will scan the product that I have just received. And I will validate. Yep. Sorry. Ah, it has validated, in fact. Uh, so, perfect. So, this was for the operation. So, you have the possibility to scan the validate, but as well to use the button. A second thing you can do directly from the home page is scan a location to create a new transfer from this location. It means that you can create an immediate transfer. So, if you have a product in front of you that is probably not well located, you can scan it and move it to the other location directly from there. Uh, so for example, I will do the example for the pedal bin. So I will scan my WH uh, stock location, scan my product, that is the pedal bin, sorry. Uh, so I have it. And now I will say that uh, WH stock was not a correct location. In fact, it should be in the shelf one. And I can validate that move directly with my button. I will remove again this. And what is the third option is scan a document to open it. When they speak about the document, in fact, they speak about uh, the picking operations document. You can have it if you go. Um, here, for example, you can go to a delivery. I uh, will take, for example, that one. And uh, I can print here my picking operations document. I will move my face to open it. And from here, I can scan so my document. I can say that I prefer to process it separately and not in a batch, even there are several uh, delivery orders for this customer. And here I can just process um, the picking. So I have two products to pick here. I can use different things. Either I scan my product. For example, I can try to scan here uh, the office chair. But I can say as well that I will use the button or to use the pen uh, to directly with my keyboard, say, three. Uh, or I can say, in fact, uh, not three but four with the plus. And you can see as well that you have already some stock for that product located in WH stock. So I confirm. 
and I can validate. Everything is done from there, so no need to go uh, in the three buttons below. So now I will go back to my barcode demo data sheet. Um, here, the last possibility is scan a product to show its location and quantity. So it means that you are looking for the different information uh, linked to that product and, uh, for example, how many stock that's left and where it's located. So I will do, for example, the case for the pedal bin. So I will scan the pedal bin and I can see that I have no stock in WH uh, stock and I have three units in the shelf one. So voila, I can close that. And now you see as well, and it's very important, that you have three big button operations, inventory adjustment and batch transfers. If you go to operations, you have in fact all the ready operations that are available as well uh, from your inventory app. Uh, if I click, for example, for the receipt, you have the possibility to uh, scan a product to filter your records. It's what is written just above. Um, it means that, for example, I have a palette in front of me. I don't know from which PO, uh, which receipt uh, it's related. And if I scan one product, so I open my palette, I take one product physically in my hand, I will scan it and it will help me to find back uh, from which um, from which uh, picking it's related to. So I will try with the desk combination. There is no receipt link to this product. I will try with the other one. Uh, maybe I will be more lucky with the large cabinet, neither large table, neither. Um, well, I can take, for example, here the aquatic block, block screen from here. And you see, for example, that here I have one received for that product for 20 units and I will validate it. So uh, another thing that it's important to know uh, when you are on a picking is that you have extra information uh, on the right. So you have the eye that gives you some information about the contact, the schedule date, what is the source document, uh, the priority of this picking and the different stock move with the expected quantity to receive. Sorry for that. Um, technical issue <laughs> could happen. And voilà. so it's different information you can you have here from here. So now you have as well the possibility to manage uh, from your barcode some inventory adjustments. You can either create a uh, you count by yourself. So imagine uh, you would like to count how many uh, pedal bin you have. So we'll do it here. Um, currently in WH stock, uh, you have uh, only zero. I will say that in fact, you have one. Um, I will apply. You have, if I would like to go back again, pedal bin say that so now you see that i have counted one before i is correct if i scan here my location shelf one i can say again for the pedal bin that uh, on the tree that the system told me uh, in fact i have in the reality only two products and i will apply if um and i will go back here uh, if someone have assigned to me some inventory adjustment to do, so I will, for example, take that one and um, I will request a count for today for me and I confirm um, and I will apply that one. Um, if now I go back, so I will yeah, go my main screen. Uh, on my barcode, if I go to inventory adjustments, I uh, will see that I have something to count for today. That is the cabinet with doors. I count and everything is there. It's perfect. I apply. Uh, the last button is the batch transfers. In fact, it's the different uh, batches that are ready to be uh, processed. And if I have some wave picking, I will see them as well from this page. 
So voilà, it's all for this video. Uh, thank you for your attention and see you in the next video. Uh, and sorry for the technical issue. Bye bye.